What's up y'all, welcome back to the vlog. It is a very, very stressful day for me. It's hard when you miss one day and you're out of the office, your to-do list gets to be extremely, extremely crazy. And so I've got a lot to do for this weekend, got a lot to do for the spring retreat, got just a bunch of things to do. And uh, what do you do whenever you're stressed? Let's talk about stress today. Stress and anxiety and just all of that crazy stuff that happens because of life. So I'm in the theater today because I came to get this wig because I've got an idea for a video for our announcement for our spring retreat coming up and so you're gonna see this wig in a spring retreat look. announcement probably this weekend. See why I'm so stressed? There is no doubt in my mind that it takes a special person to be a youth pastor. Sometimes we cray cray. Do kids still say that? Cray cray? So the topic of today's video is stress and anxiety, things that get you stressed out, things that give you anxiety. It's actually the topic of what we're talking about in youth group this Sunday, which is a heavy, heavy topic for youth group. And one of the things that we're talking about is the difference between stress and anxiety. Stress is something that comes because of a specific situation, like I'm a little stressed, about all of the plans that I have to make for this week's um, retreat and also for our spring retreat coming up in March. But anxiety is not related to a specific incident. So stress is kind of connected to a circumstance and anxiety is just this thing that weighs over you all the time. I'm not an expert on the differences between stress and anxiety, but I do know that I have been stressed about things in the past and I haven't really had a whole bunch of anxiety. But I know people who live with anxiety looming over them and they just can't get out from underneath it. I'm reading through the guide for our curriculum for this week and it says this, it says the thing about stress and anxiety is that there are some answers, but they can be different for nearly everybody. That being said, some of what we say might be helpful for you and some of it might not be helpful for you right now. Part of dealing with stress or anxiety is doing what David did in Psalm 56. Psalm 56 says, Be merciful to me, my God, for my enemies are in hot pursuit. All day long they press their attack. My adversaries pursue me all day long. What David is doing is he's naming the thing that is stressing him out, the thing that is bringing crazy anxiety to him. Then he goes on to say, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? So David names the thing that is stressing him out and then he turns his focus to God and who he is and the way that he can help him in his time of trouble. Now what I'm not saying is that a simple way to get rid of your anxiety is just to not focus on it and to only focus on God or to have more faith or to just go to church more or to just read your Bible more or to just pray about it more. I'm not saying that at all. Those things are good, but they're not the only answer. But something that can help in anxious or stressful situations is turning our focus away from that thing that is stressing us, naming it, but then turning to who God is and remembering that in times of stress. Obviously, that's not gonna fix everything. That's not gonna make the stressful situation go away. But if you truly know who God is and you're allowing Him to transform your mind, then you understand that he is so much bigger than all of those giant, huge problems that you actually have. And finding somebody that you can talk to about your problems is super, super important. So really you don't need to be anxious on your own. You don't need to go at this alone. Find some help, find somebody who you can talk to about your anxiety and about the stress in your life. Help is available. If you happen to be watching this and you need help, please, please, please get in contact with me. I'll find somebody to help you. 
I may not be able to help you myself, but I will find somebody that is near you that you can talk to. Because you're way too valuable to let anxiety eat you alive. That's okay. I can I can put that in like the promo stuff too. Like I'll I'll I'm fixing to make some videos of like like to get people to sign up. So I'm create I'm creating kind of an alter ego and I'll include I'll include a soccer ball in everything. <laughs>